Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.32 from the chapter number 3. Okay, the problem is using continuous assignment statements. That means we have to use continuous assignment statement. We have to use assignment statement. Okay, and write a very long description of the circuit shown in these figures. We are given with six figures okay so this these figures are similar to the previous problem but in the previous problem we had to write the very log gate level description but here we have to write the very log description of these circuits okay but we have to use here the continuous assignment statements the first problem is 3.22a from the chapter okay this figure you can find from the inside of the chapter okay here we have assigned these wires w1 w2 w3 w4 okay here then we have to write the code so here we have written the module here you have to write ca it is for the continuous assignment okay then we have to write the output and inputs f from f is the output and a b c c bar and d are the inputs okay so we, here we have to define the output so output is f inputs are this okay then wires we have to define this w1 w2 w3 and w4 okay and you have to terminate all the lines with semicolon then we have to use assign statement okay so we'll write assign w1 equal to what c and d w1 equal to c this is the n operator okay and this is the or operator this is the or operator and this is the n operator so w1 is c and d so we have written here similarly w2 is equal to w1 or b w1 or b okay and in this process we have found out w3 w4 okay w3 and w4 we have found out okay then we have the final function f is w3 or w4 here we can see w3 or w4 okay so this is the output function f so then we have to write the n module okay now in the second part of the problem we are given with this uh, logic circuit so in the next part of the problem we are given with this logic circuit so what we have to do so we have to do we have to assign first of all we have to assign these wires w1 w2 w3 and w4 okay here we have the inverted inputs here and here also okay so let us write the get level description of this circuit here we have to here also we have to start with this module okay figure this this is the figure number okay then this is for continuous assignment and these are the outputs and inputs so we have to define the output is f inputs are this okay then we have to define the wires w1 w2 w3 and w4 w3 and w4 then we have to assign w1 bar is this is the not okay this is tilde operator is the is used for the not operation so w1 bar that means w1 complement is not w1 here we have inverted input so we have to find out the w1 complement here also we have to find out b bar complement so here we have written w1 bar is tilde w1 that means not w1 this here also we have assigned b bar is the complement of b okay then we have assigned w3 bar okay w3 bar means complement of w3 similarly assigned w4 bar is the complement of w4 then what we have to do we have to do the operation so w1 is so using these two operators not an and we can function we can get the nand operation so we have nand gets here okay so we have to so we have used here a not here okay then inside it we have n that means we can say that first of all we have found out the n operation between c and d then we have complemented that is the n operation so c and d so we have found out this w1 then w2 w2 is nothing but w1 bar and b bar bar or okay so w1 bar or b bar bar that's because we have already input is b bar and we have again taken the complement then we have to assign w3 assign w3 w3 is this one okay so we have nan operation between w2 and a okay so w3 is this not this tilde symbol is used for the not operation okay and w2 and a w2 and a that means this n operation is done and we have complemented it so it is nan operation and we have got this w3 then we have w4 this w4 w4 is the nan operation between b and c bar so w4 is the nan operation not and here we have n so b and c bar okay so we have got this w4 
and finally we have to do the or operation between these two inverted inputs okay w3 bar and w4 bar so we'll write the assign f equal to w3 bar here and w4 bar here so or operation so this is the symbol then we have to write this n module okay so this is the solution of the second part of this problem so this is the code for the second part of the problem okay then let us go to our third part of the problem that is c in the third part of the problem we are given with this circuit here we have assigned w1 w2 w3 w4 these are the wires okay this is nothing but the same to the previous case okay output is f and inputs are these okay then we have to assign these wires w1 w2 w3 and w4 then we have to write the wires w1 wire w1 w2 w3 w4 okay then we have to assign w1 that means w1 is what w1 is the n operation between a and b bar n operation between a and b bar so it is the w1 here also you can see that w2 is the this is the n operation okay so w2 is also n operation between a bar and b so a bar and b n operation so we'll get w2 okay so we have got w1 and w2 then we have to find out w3 w3 is the or operation this is the or gate okay or between w1 and w2 so we have written w3 equal to w1 or w2 okay then we have this w4 w4 is c or d bar so c w4 is c this is the OR gate okay and D bar so we'll write the W4 equal to C or D bar then we have to find out this output F okay output F is nothing but the N operation between W3 and W4 so we'll write F equal to assign F equal to W3 and W4 okay so this is the completion of this program okay so this is the solution of the third part of the problem in the fourth part of the problem we have this circuit okay similar to the previous case here we have assigned is f bar or f bar this is nothing but f bar okay so we have assigned here wires w1 w2 w3 and w4 okay and w5 and w6 because we have inverted input at the input side itself so we have written here w5 and w6 as wires okay so this is that this module statement is same these are the inputs this is for continuous assignment okay cm means continuous assignment here okay this is the output f and these are the inputs okay so we have defined here the output is f and inputs are these okay then we have defined the wires w1 w2 up to w6 okay up to w6 then we have to assign w1 is w1 is the nan operation between a and b bar okay that means we have to first find out the n operation then complement okay so w1 is the n operation between a and b bar okay this is the n operator and we have to complement it to make it nan operation okay so we have got this w1 similarly for w2 we have got this a bar and b n operation and then this tilde the symbol tilde symbol is for the not operation then we have to assign w1 bar is then we have found out this w1 bar that means w1 complement because we have inverted inverted input here before w1 so we have to take the complement of w1 here we have inverted inputs at this input of this gate or gate okay so we have to find out w1 bar and w2 bar so it is nothing but the complement okay so we have to so you have written here w1 bar is the complement of w1 and w2 bar is the complement of w2 now we have to assign w3 is the or operation between w1 bar and w2 bar here you can see w3 is the or operation between w1 bar and w2 bar okay so we have written it w3 is the or operation between w1 bar and w2 bar okay then we have to assign w5 bar w5 bar is the complement of c bar okay w5 is c bar and w5 bar will be the complement of c bar okay so w5 bar is the complement of c bar Similarly, W6 bar is the complement of D. Okay, W6 is the D. Okay, after this inverted input, we will get D complement. Okay, that means W6 bar. Okay, W6 bar is the D complement. Okay, D complement. Then we have to assign W4. W4 is the OR operation between W5 and W6 bar. Okay, W4 is the OR operation. This is the OR gate. Okay, between W5 bar and W6 bar. These are the inputs. Okay, then we have to write OR operation between W5 bar and W6 bar. Then we have to find out this F complement. F complement here. So F complement is the NAN operation between W3 and W4. Okay, so we'll write F bar is the complement or this NOT and N. So NAND 
okay so between w3 and w4 okay so we have got this f bar and f is the complement of f bar because we have only the not gate here okay so f is the complement of this f bar okay so we have written this f equal to not f bar okay so then we have to write the n module so this is the solution of the fourth part of the problem in the fifth part we are given with this logic circuit here we have assigned these wires w1 w2 and w3 okay we do not have inverted input in this side and we have inverted input here so we have to find out first w1 bar w2 bar and w3 bar okay so let us write down the codes so this module statement is same f is the output and these are the inputs okay this ca is for the continuous assignment and this output is f and inputs are these okay and we have three wires w1 w2 and w3 so we have defined here wire w1 w2 w3 okay then we will find out w1 bar because you will have inverted input here so we have written here w1 bar is complement of w1 okay or not w1 similarly for w2 and similarly for w3 w3 equal to not e bar this e bar is the e bar is w3 okay so w3 bar will be the complement of e bar so we, then we have to find out these operations that means this is the nor operation okay that means or and invert inverter okay or and inverter so this is the or operation between a and b these are the inputs and we have this use this not get or not inverter so we have used this inverter or tilde symbol okay to get the nor operation similarly for w2 similarly we have found out this w2 so we have found w1 and w2 then we can write assign f equal to so f will be the because we have already found out w1 bar w2 bar and w3 bar okay f is the n operation between these inverted inputs okay so we'll write f equal to w1 bar and w2 bar and w3 bar okay so we have to write here n module now let us come to our last part of the problem that is the sixth part of the problem in the sixth part of the problem we are given with this logic circuit okay so we have defined here these wires because we have inverted inputs here w1 w2 w3 w4 w5 w6 w7 and w8 this module is similar to the previous case this is the output this is the, these are the inputs okay output we have defined it is the f and inputs are here okay then we have defined these wires w1 and w2 just you have to write wire w1 up to w8 okay so as many wires you have you have to write here okay then you have to assign w1 is the a bar so w1 is a bar a bar is the w1 so we have assigned w1 is the a bar w2 is b w3 is a and w4 is a bar then we have to find out this inverted that means we have to find out w1 bar w2 bar w3 bar and w4 bar so we have found out here assign w1 bar is the complement of w1 similarly w2 bar is the complement of w2 okay and w3 bar is the not operation on w3 that is the complement of w3 then w4 bar is the w4 complement okay then we have to assign w7 is the complement of w7 bar here we can see we have inverted inputs so w7 bar will be here okay so we have to find again w8 bar so we have written here w8 bar is the complement of w8 okay then we have w5 is the n operation between w1 and w2 bar w1 bar and w2 bar we have to find out the n operation so w5 is the n operation between w1 bar and w2 bar so we have written here okay w5 is the n operation between w1 bar and w2 bar okay then w6 is the n operation between w3 bar and w4 bar w6 is the n operation between w3 bar and w4 bar so we have written here w3 bar and w4 bar and w7 is the this till the symbol is here okay. this is the or and this is the not okay so it is nor that means w7 is the nor operation between w5 and w6 so w7 is the nor operation this is the nor get the nor operation between w5 and w6 so we have written here w7 is the nor operation between w5 and w6 okay then we have to find out the w8 after this line after this line you have to write from here okay so assign w8 is the nor operation between c and d bar because it is or and this is not so it is nor operation so c and d bar these are the inputs c and d bar these are the two inputs so nor operation will get w8 okay so w8 equal to nor operation between c and d bar then we have to find out output f okay f is the n operation between w7 bar and w8 bar f is the 
n operation this is the n gate n operation between w7 bar here because it is the inverted input or we have bubble here that means inverted input so w8 bar and w7 bar we have to do the n operation okay then we have to write the n module so this is the solution of the sixth part of the problem thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you